It's just a great day. We're back at Solly Hall, seeing our first Range Rovers come off the line after what has been an unprecedented stop for our business. It does the mark the start of a slow reintroduction of our production. So I've been around talking to our people today and the mood is very buoyant. Yeah, people are glad to be back at work. A little bit apprehensive, of course they are, but you can see people are getting back into the swing of working and they're getting used to social distancing. And I can tell you that the atmosphere in the factory is absolutely fantastic today. Everybody's happy to be making cars again. Well, we're all getting used to social distancing. And it starts right when the people are at home. We've been communicating with our people throughout our shutdown, making sure they're safe and they know what to expect when they come back. As they came out of the car park this morning, we were taking their temperatures. When they came through, you can see everywhere you go now, there are signs and we've made sure, we've marked out every single gangway so people have the two meter rule in their mind everywhere they go. So the safety and the health of our people is absolutely paramount. And we've done everything we know to do to make sure that we protect everybody's well-being. It's a new world. We've never done this before, but we're learning as we go. And I can tell you now that our people are absolutely coming with us on this journey. So it's absolutely crucial that everybody realizes washing your hands is what you now need to do regularly. Yes, we provide hand sanitizers, but the combination of hand sanitizer and washing your hands is what will keep us safe, as well as keeping everybody two meters apart or wearing the PPE we provide. So the first step is we ask people to check their temperature when they're at home, because we know temperature is a key indicator of this disease. When they come to work, we're now installing thermal cameras, so we can check temperatures as people come onto site and we check the temperatures throughout the day randomly. So every one of our associates has access to full PPE to make them feel comfortable be coming back to work, including the safety visor. We've been producing these ourselves and we've made sure every single person has access to one of these. And every single person in our business has access to one of these visors to keep them safe, should they want it or should they need it. So we've been communicating with our people while they've been on lockdown, making sure that they're preparing to come back to work. We sent out the questionnaires, we made sure when they came back in they were fully inducted, so they know exactly what they need to do when they get back to work to be safe. Of course when people come back to work they're going to be a little bit apprehensive. Yeah? Social distancing, it's new to us all, but through the training that we've been doing, I'm absolutely convinced that our people will be able to build our cars socially distanced safely, and it will become the new norm for the time being. We absolutely care about all our associates. We have a strap line, which is be safe, be kind, stay well. Be kind. We want people to just think a little bit further than usual. People are a little bit apprehensive. People have got some concerns and doubts. We just want everybody just to take a few more minutes just to think about how people are feeling in our business and just got that extra mile to make people feel comfortable coming back to work. I've seen so many examples of how our people have helped us during this crisis. They've come to work to keep essential services going, they've gone out into the community to support, and we've been making thousands of visors to provide to the NHS. Our people are truly amazing. They rise to the challenges we give them. And on top of that, We've provided over 360 vehicles worldwide to give to organisations to help them get support to their communities. So we provided 360 cars to local communities to help them get support to whoever they needed to, and we've produced over 14,000 visors a week to give to the local NHS. Today's a hugely important day for Jaguar Land Rover. We're building cars with our people safely again, and it's just great to be back at work. We've been obviously giving PPE all the social distance seen uh, the measures are there um, and the company's taking it really seriously and so are we as workers. For um, anybody still at home, um, what I can say that is really safe to come back in and the company is obviously taking all, all the necessary precautions and it is safe to come back to work. Uh, to be perfectly honest, it was just the unexpected uh, and when the associates have walked in, we were actually shown around the plant and how things had changed. Uh, and it's all for the good, uh, it's a lot safer, everybody feels a lot safer here uh, and getting about is, is also a lot easier. It does feel like a completely different plant, the way things have changed, but it's all for the good. Uh, everybody, all the socials I've spoke to, they haven't had any quarrels at all, so they've, they've all been really happy about it. A little bit apprehensive, not knowing what to expect when we get here, although a bit more excited because it's the norm, getting back to the norm. It's the same, I mean the track's going pretty much at normal speed now, so uh, you just get on with the job and it's just like being back to normal.
So as soon as we landed in the car park, we were shown where to go through the turnstiles and single file two metres apart. We were given hand sanitizer. When we came through the building, uh, we were given our masks. We had a brief with our GL and then uh, to explain what was going on of all the markings and our seating area. Uh, we were shown the car park, which doors to go through. Um, we were also shown the rest areas of where we were going to be seating and how they've fenced it all off and marked it all off. Nothing to worry about, it's all safe. We've got everywhere is safe, they've made sure we've got hand sanitizer, we've got masks to wear, uh, all two metres apart on the crossing, so everywhere is safe. Yeah, so Monday obviously everyone came back and it was a big change for all of us. I mean, it's, especially those, those of us that have been on site for the, uh, for the eight weeks. So with everyone returning, we were a bit anxious, a bit cautious as to what might be coming. Um, but all the measures they put in place, I think from the firm, first moment I came into the car park and I then went down the stairs, uh, I'd been received by all the managers at the bottom. It was a big thing. I think it lifted a lot of spirits and made people feel a, a lot safer and actually then coming in, smiling faces and and people, I think it was received kind of well. The amount of measures that have been put in place obviously put people's minds at rest. The hard work that the guys have done, all the PLs and GLs over the first two weeks when we come back has been massive. Um, with all the floor marking and sorting the toilets out, rest areas. And I think coming back in the associates, what I noticed that it's a massive difference. The general feeling on the shop floor is quite positive. The morale is quite high. Um, yeah, I've had a few people come and see me and say, you know, the work that we've done, they've really appreciated.